sweatshirt that we see him in so often. But he is so going nuts. Nice. He's leveled up. He's odd-dazed out, and he's going to be going to Smashville to start things off here. Bringing it close. Ooh, I like that PK fire at the platform right there. Now, one thing's for certain in this matchup, you gotta keep DK in the air. That is where you're gonna be getting a lot of your mileage as Ness is just with the juggles. DK doesn't have a whole lot of options to help him land, so Gibbles may rely on landing on that middle platform quite a bit here. Yeah, and then Dr. Iggy can start to expect and have something waiting for him that he does not want to land into, so it will be important to see how Dr. Iggy conditions him to set those up. One for the PK fire. And what a read on the landing right there, but Donkey Kong is a big body that up smash isn't gonna kill. This could be really bad, but Gibbles managing to challenge the multi hitbox of the up smash that are getting back on stage. And right now he's fighting on the ledge, but gets overwhelmed by inputs from Iggy. Yeah, perfectly parried, but nothing lined up after. It's going to be important. You keep those buttons mashing when you're against this quick aerial, the massive quick aerial yeah. that Ness is able to abuse, especially on this large body. What a grab. What a PK fire as well. And the patience, oh my goodness, this is gonna put Iggy in a bad spot. This should be a free back air. And, and okay, respectfully, Dr. Iggy says, okay, I blew my stock, but you are gonna take this PK Thunder, which is a good talk. It's electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. Nice there, you know. PK Thunders in beautiful tech. Most people would not expect that. Gibbles hanging on to his second stock for dear life, but I mean, Iggy's responsive has just been amazing. Killing DK at a relatively early percent. I mean, it's not abnormal for DK to live to like 200. So when you're killing him at like 160, 170. With full hot mare. Yeah, you got two stocks to your name. I mean, that's great. But Gibbles is coming back with this aggression that I was warning you guys about. And this could do it. Going to kill. Great ceiling because it's going back here not once but twice. And that is a nice way to get these stocks evened out. Gibbles. Absolutely. Doing some amazing work there on stock two. And trying to keep that energy going here. I'm telling you, man. Gibbles, it's like nothing ever happened. It's like there was no deficit. He's just playing his game, playing aggressive. Let's see how Iggy's going to respond here. Look, Gibbles just walking away. Just playing it so patiently, waiting to play off reaction here. But I mean, he's not ready for just the hitboxes coming out from Iggy right now. Just landing hard hit after hard hit. Yeah, we're getting <gasps> Iggy hit. Don't stop That's it. it. Don't stop that. Is exactly like you said. It. Oh. Said and done. Written in stone. That is the ding dong that we was heard around the arena. And Gibbles gets game one in the pocket. Yeah. Great stuff there. Kept uh, weathering through that storm that was Dr. Iggy onslaught of offensive opportunities. The man would not stop. But Gibbles looking for that perfect place to say, nah, this is my chance. I'm going to get in that driver's seat and take it home. Absolutely. And you know, I mean, Iggy has to be thinking himself after that one because that was his game to win. But he ends up getting caught off guard by Gibbles' grab. And you know, Gibbles is really good at landing grabs in those dire situations. But I mean, like, if you're on the opposing end of it, it's never exciting when it happens to you. Especially if you were in the lead the whole time. I mean, that's just one of the comeback, uh, comeback mechanics that DK has in his arsenal here. Yeah, it's just the matchup, you know. Every day, everybody says, you know, you gotta learn the matchup, and the matchup with Donkey Kong is you have to know what percent you get ding dong that up. Yeah. And that's three different stages. It's three different stages of rage, and you gotta be very cognizant of what percentages you cannot oh be my. living around crazy at, and there is going to be no way for that nest to come back from those depths. Yeah, I mean, I respect Iggy just aggressively trying to fight his way back because Gibbles had hit him out of his jump, so there wasn't too many options other than just die. So, like I said, I respect him fighting back, doing some damage, but the fact that Gibbles was able to react and tech is even more amazing in my opinion. Gibbles really, really pressing the buttons at the right time. Looking for some down tilts on the shield and going to be evaded. He's going for some tricky stuff with that up smash. Back throw isn't going to kill. DK is just too heavy for that. Gibbles not showing much mind to that PK Thunder, but this should be the kill. Yep, unfortunate stuff from Gibbles. 
Although it wasn't SD, he was in a bad position that, I mean, it could probably have ended up hitting the stock anyway. Yeah, it was like check into forfeit. I don't even want to see what your check game yeah. is here. Let's go respectfully walk away before you win. Oh, wow. That could have actually been a pretty big extender there from Iggy, but he ends up dropping the combo. Let's Gibbles get the reversal. And right now, Dr. Iggy against the ropes. Fortunately, able to find a landing. Hit him with the bongos and dominoes and knocks him down. Really close to sealing this stock out for Gibbles, but there is Dr. Iggy doing what he's done so well today. Just keeping that pressure on until the last of the, the fingers. Thumb. Going to smack the phalanges, bro. <laughs> Not the metatarsals. <laughs> and no great stuff from Gibbles. I, I mean, like, and, and that's just part of the matchup. You know, when you're playing against Ness, a, a lot of your best options are to just kind of wait around and, you know, hit those tilts. They're pretty much your swords, and the best way to handle Ness's disjoints, and that's the game. Man, Gibble's never really breaking a sweat, regardless of the situation, and that's just one of the things that I told you about, is that Gibble's just always manages to play his game no matter who he's against, no matter how dire the situation, he's just Gibble's 110%. Yeah. Whether through the amazing offensive display that Dr. Iggy opened up with that game one, you can see just how um, insistent Dr. Iggy was on pushing his pace, but Gibble's just playing well like water weaving in and out of this you know those, very fluid game yeah play. those those attempts that dr iggy had and for that he gets paid off in the ultimate reward he's going on a winner's semis feeling good and to finish things off we got ben versus havoc who you said one of your favorite snakes to watch very explosive likes to play the close quarters as well and will get very brawly so we'll see if ben is going sora or the or the zelda today but whether uh, either of those zoning mages come out you're going to get to see Havoc get to really get in there and try to break up the campier kind of style yeah. that those players can lend to. Yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, 